This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hi guys, welcome back to one more video and in this video we'll be taking a look on P4 security issue. Before going to the video, we are having announcements here. We, are, we have launched few courses in the past like Web3, Master Course of Work Bounties and few more. So you can take a look on all of them in the link in the description. Make sure to take a look on them and we are launching a new batch for Master Course of 2025. We'll be starting from very basic to very advanced topics. So make sure to also take a look on that one too. So, as we have in the previous video, someone was commenting that you can make a list on P4 issues. So, in this particular session, I'll try my best to make a lot of POCs or I will try to include POCs and some checklists for P4 security issues. Have a look on it completely. And now, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are on a computer screen once again now. And in this video, as we have seen in the intro section, that we are going to be jumping on to some P4 bugs, some few more data so let's take a look i have some pdf i have some resources collected i also posted them on github so you can simply check all of them out let me just open them so they are the ones p4 curated list it's a simple list let me open it for you now see in this particular one we will be taking a look on somewhere around 17 p4 bugs that are really easy to discover that you can start with or start learning with right uh, yeah, I can definitely not say that yeah, you will get bounties from it, but at least you will start your initial journey from it. It can be P4, it can be P5. Weak registration implementation. So you can simply log in in any website using, you know, uh, mail IDs or also you can just try to, you know, copy the link and all this type of thing. So yeah, it's a simple one. When you open the link in browser, then the account should be opened directly. If you open the link and website ask for credential, then the company will not accept the bug. So it's simple. You have to open the URL in browser example like uh, you can say domain.com slash sign up account verification link should be sent go to email box open the email right click on the link and open it in the other browser or maybe you know like uh, in any other sort of private browser something like that and try to see if you're able to log in or not it should not ask credentials for it that's the only condition weak password reset also simple, there are a lot of issues for password reset if you already know that or if possible I'll upload one of my classes from last two weeks which was already focused on password reset. It's simple, go to password reset page, enter the registered email, go to the email inbox, right click on the box, copy the link, paste the link in browser and see if the link is on HTTP. If it is there, then there can be data theft possibility. You can exploit it in multiple ways, so have a deep look on it. I'll also mention a few blogs in the same GitHub page, so have, make, make sure you take a look on that one. So improper catch control is really easy, not a big deal. Just open a browser, log in, click on the back button, see if you are able to still log into that particular 
session if you're already into that session that you have tried to log out then you are good to go it's not a big deal it's really simple to play with that one HTTP by default if you have domain which is not having SSL then yeah it's a simple HST right like you can see the steps to reproduce are simple paste it in the new tab add this test in the domain and see if it's opening or not token inundated after use yes open a URL go to forget password enter an email ID you will get the reset link change password multiple times and use the same link if it is usable then there is some sort of token issues Broken link hijacking. We have already made a video on it. You can take a look on that one. Click jacking. Really easy. Navigate to any site. Go to the profile section. By the way, if you're wondering where's the description impact and what are the other things, you need to check. Then yes, have a look on it. This is the code that you're gonna use in that one. So just copy your profile or as your setting pages. Just paste the link here, and see if you can open the file. Target.com will be vulnerable with click jacking, and yeah, you can simply open it. Delete account without password. Yes, it's simple as it is. Say it is really simple. SPF and DMART record. You already know that. You just have to go to MX Toolbox and check it. Content spoofing, test injection, external authentication injections. It's really simple. Just go to any domain. Just change your URL to this one, uh, or any sort of, you know, multiple redirection, something like that, or any sort of URL that you can do. It's simple. You're just trying to inject some sort of text in it. Like, see, this is my particular URL, and now I'm able to put some sort of error here. And whatever I type, it is just getting reflected, which is performing a simple text injection.
failure to invalidate session on password reset change yeah obviously it's simple create an account login is login to two browsers change password in account one and then just replace the browser two simple as that no rate limit on report of the user comment Simple, just capture any request of comment or verification, any other request, send it to Burp Suite, click on Intruder and start the attack. If you are able to perform the same action multiple times, I'll say more than 75 times, yeah, and yeah, it's good, it's a certified no rate limit. Email verification bypasses these are also not a very big deal but yeah the multiple scenarios that you can use so case one is unprotected act, uh, activation URLs if there is no such suffici uh, sufficient unique tokens then it's really simple to you know just manipulate the IDs and do all these things to get the verification verified predictable verified tokens if you can predict the tokens based on the username email then it's really easy to verify your own session Bypassing validation status code like exchanging tokens and all these things. Direct access, uh, direct access to user areas like suppose you are having a link of domain.com slash confirmation email. Just change the confirmation email with dashboard. Maybe you will get access. Then also email hijacking for verification. Then obviously there is active geolocation. The bug is considered P4, but based on impact, it can be you know going on to P3. Possibilities are there.
it's really simple just go to gimple or just do a simple thing upload a photo which is already having a exif data and then refresh the page download the photo check it on the gimple.com and you will find out okay if you are able to perform exif or not broken authentication failure to invalidate session and log out obviously click on log out once it's logged in click on log out then just go to second tab like simply open the same account in two tabs log out in one and just do some other work in account two or tab two same browser same cookies HTML injections. I already made a video on it. Just take a look on that one. Origin IP leads to web bypass. Then yes, there are multiple methods that you can use. Right, you can just go to DNS sick list or web hoof to check the firewalls and all these things. You can also get origin IPs from census, showdown, and figure out if they are running the same features, same things as the main website or not, and if there is any sort of cloud flare application firewall. Present or not? You can simply use these tricks, and they are really effective to find this type of bypasses, or you know, just perform any sort of origin IP leaks. So I think that is for the video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. If you have some questions, let me know in the comment section. And also, don't forget to take a look on the links in the description. Have a good day.